In this video, we're going to continue to draw in 2D in uh, Cinema 4D. So I'm going to open a recent project, which was the previous lesson or lesson number six, where we started to work with work planes and with the snaps and started to create also 2D shapes and 3D objects. And we started also to work with more precision and creating defined uh, measures. Now we're going to continue, but I'm going to first of all fix the work plane here. So I'm going to set it to a standard uh, epsilon oriented work plane. And I will start here to recap a really important uh, setting, which are the different modes that you can use when you're working in Cinema 4D. So for example here, I have changed the axis and I've used the snaps to place that axis in a different position in this 3D model. Well, you can also do that in 2D shapes. So for example, I can create a different effect here for this object. So if I rotate, using the axis and the also I'm using the snaps here and in particular the quantizing so it's gonna rotate to intervals of uh, 45 degrees okay now what if I don't want this to rotate this way but if I want to rotate for example around this little point here now I can select that go to the axis activate the axis move the axis and place it there, but all the object moves. Now it's really important to understand that each time you need to go from a parametric shape like this and an editable one, you need to convert your object, whether it is a 2D shape or a 3D object. I need to go here, right click and make this editable or press C of the keyboard. Now once it's editable, I cannot change the parameters, but I can change a lot of other things. One of these is the axis position. So I can now move the axis right there. I can place it exactly on that point if I am able to snap there. And then I can rotate using, well, of course I need to deactivate this now. So you need to be really careful of what you are selecting right here on the top toolbar. And I will rotate this. And you can see I'm rotating around that different position. So axes are really important when you need to transform your object, but not always. They, they will always be important because they represent the insertion point of your object. So make sure also that it's not too far from your object. Okay, now I want to place it back right there and then deactivate this again. Now. So in the parametric shapes, you can always change, for example, here, the number of teeth, or you can change the, the diameter and so on. But what you cannot do is you cannot change the points or go into the edit of this object. So you cannot customize it furthermore unless you change it into an um, editable object like this one. So right now, if I select the points, on this other shape, you can see that I can actually get there to that point and start to customize it. I can move it and I want to turn off the snap right now. I don't want this snap activated. I want to be free to design. Okay. So you can see here that I can move that point. We already did that. And if I right click, I can access to a lot of editing tools that we have here in Cinema 4D. And I'm going to show you most of these, but I cannot show you everything. But once you get the, once you understand, then you will be able to go by yourself. Now, let me go in the top view because this is more appropriate. And I want to also turn off some layers that I don't need here. I just want to use the vector graphics or logos. So I will just use this and my objective here is to, my goal is to create logos and something 
concerning graphic design. Now, always remember that as long as you are here in the points mode, you cannot select anything else. So you need to remember that you go, you have to go back here and select the model mode or object mode. Now, I also want to get rid of these guides and other stuff that I have created in the previous video. And let's focus on logos and graphic design. And of course, just remember what we said so far about the layers and the groups and all the managing tools here that we talked about in previous lessons. Everything will come handy in a certain moment. Now, let's get started here. And usually when I need to design something, I sketch it. So I can start with a sketch. For example, I want to do kind of a logo or an icon for graphic design. And then you can use, well, I'm not using a tablet, but if you have a tablet or and the pen, it's going to be easier to do this. But I can always adjust with the spline smooth. This is adjusting everything here. It's going to make it really nice and smooth. Well, there are some also is other issues that we need. To, I need to fix here. For example, here I have overlapping lines. This is not the best when you need to create vector graphics or also if you need this to be extruded in 3D later on. But what I can do is just trying to op optimize the, the curves here, trying to make it a little bit more. Uh, you can see here, I can also switch to points. And if I use this, I'm going to decrease the number of points so that I can work with this shape a little bit better. Now, I can select the Move tool here and with the snaps, I can get that point and move it into the and to, to close the spline there. Or I can also let me go back just to show you more options. And remember, you always need to know where you are. So I need to go back here to model in order to come back here and get the spline arc tool, which is also pretty nice. You can see that it can create um let's say missing part of your model and then again i can go back go to spline and reduce the number of points here okay so this could be one way then you have also other tools here if, if you right click with the point selected let's see we can do for example some optimization so usually you also have here the the more attributes, so I can decrease the radius and the strength of the and the smooth effect or also increase it. Okay, so here optimize when you click on the little engine here, you can optimize your um, object here. So let's, for example, increase the tolerance to one. And well, you need to make some tests. Always, let's say 100. Okay, yeah, no, now it's too much. But you can you can see here it reduced the number of points. So maybe I need to find something in between. Okay, maybe less. But you get 